Yo, yo, yo. What is going on, my beautiful brothers and sisters, fellow radiators of love? My name is Jamal Pope, a.k.a. J. Phoenix. And this is going to be your tarot and astrology reading for Monday, July 22nd of 2024. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. Hopefully you guys had a wonderful weekend. And hopefully you guys are having a wonderful Monday to start the week. Got a lot to talk about. Well, kind of, sort of. I went more in depth on my weekly astrology horoscope. But another eventful weekend. Joe Biden steps down. Well, not doesn't step down, but he drops out of the race. So uh, he is done. We're going to have a new president here in the United States. I'm not really surprised, especially if you know the astrology. I'm not really surprised. And, of course, today is the beginning of Leo season. So happy birthday to all the Leos. Let's go ahead and hop into it, though. Let's see what the cards have to say so we can see how you can be better prepared to navigate these celestial energies. Well, I have for you all the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups. This is the going after the Holy Grail card. It's the way that I kind of call it, especially anything that has you more emotionally driven. What are you emotionally driven to do? You know, it's interesting, too, because the planet of emotions primarily we have is the moon. That is going to be an Aquarius, of course, coming off of the full moon in Capricorn, conjunct Pluto. It does try and Jupiter today, Jupiter today and oppose Venus as well. Jupiter, of course, which is in Gemini. And Venus, of course, is in Leo. So I think emotionally, we're actually probably going to be a little bit more detached. And the opposition to Venus is going to definitely be calling up. It's like, well, you know, there's going to be this reflection to what do we truly want? What do we truly desire with that Venus in Leo? And we may like to maybe detach with that moon in Aquarius and say that maybe we want one thing, but really what we desire or we, we even want to receive is something a bit shinier, a bit more bold with that Leo energy, right? So this Knight of Cups, yes, what are you emotionally driven to do? What are you emotionally driven to want in your life well let's see what else we have we have the two of wands people are definitely going to have to make a decision today on whether to go left or right or maybe they forge their own path maybe these two paths aren't the path for you maybe you forge your own path and you don't have to go down one of these established roads right that's the way that i will look at it today Especially considering the fact that we do have this moon that's also going to be in sextile to Chiron today as well. Chiron, of course, here in Aries. There's an opportunity definitely for you to tap more into this unique aspect of yourself with the Chiron and Aries. But it's going to be whether or not you are willing to accept this aspect. Maybe this weird little spot. Maybe this weird little quirk of yours, if you will, because that's what the Chiron is. And But there are lessons, of course, that can come from that. So there could be an opportunity that opens up for you to kind of go your own unique way, especially with a moon in Aquarius. But that, that being said, the moon in Aquarius, while it can help produce independent thought, it also is the sign that does rule, well, it rules the people in the cults. I would say Pisces is more of like the doctrine of the cult. But the Aquarius is actually like the people, if you will. So... You can go from being this independent thinker to having more of a group mind or group think, if you will. So I think that's the thing here. Now, the other card that we have is the Ace of Cups, right? So this can bring about a fresh new feeling, if you will, and probably coming off of the full moon. It's probably something that's needed, but that was really more so of a release point. Now that the moon is in Aquarius, especially on a Monday, People are probably just going to be over it. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I've seen so many posts where people are like, can we stop living through like life-changing, like major historical events for like one second? No. No, we can't. Uh, we have Neptune at the end of Pisces. Okay. Uh, the sun just went into Leo. So things are already going to get dramatic. This is the beginning of Act 1. And we have Pluto that's going to retrograde back into Capricorn. It hit 29 degrees for the last time in all of our lives. Um, we have a lot of outer planets that are beginning to shift into other signs. They've started their shifts. Uranus, you know, here at the end of Taurus, is starting to get closer to Gemini. Neptune, of course, like I said, at the end of Pisces, it's going to get ready to go into Aries. 
we have a lot of shifting energy with these outer planets, Pluto as well, like I just mentioned. So no, when it comes to the events that affect the population as at, like on a larger scale, on a generational scale, these outer planets that move a lot slower, uh, no, we, we are going to continue to live through historical events for some time. So this is about just learning to kind of accept that and to kind of, you know, you know, with the Ace of Cups too, you know, sit with your emotions today. Acknowledge your emotions as they come up. But also with that two of wands there, there definitely can be a sort of, you know, influence maybe to try to drive you in one direction or the other. But you have to ask yourself, is this an emotion or a feeling that is authentic to you? Or is this something that someone else wants you to do? Like they want you to go in this direction instead of that direction. They want you to come and play for this team instead of play for their team. You know what I'm saying? I think we're being given an opportunity here today to really, you know, think things through, think things critically, and to really have like your own original thought about things, uh, hopefully. Or at the very least, start to think critically about a lot of these things and try not to get overly attached to the uh, outcome or to a lot of the sensationalism that we're going to start to see over the, the next four months. Act one, of course, Leo season starting today. And you know, just because of the nature of what's been going on and stuff, I will draw one more card. I have the Hierophant in reverse. I drew this card on Saturday, right? The day where my mic was having weird issues, but I had the higher fin, and the higher fin comes up again in reverse. Oh yeah. So like I said, there's definitely gonna be this element where people are going to try and gaslight you, manipulate you into following something that they think is going to be best. But you have to ask yourself, is it best for you? That's ultimately what it comes down to. Whether this happens on a grander scale or more national scale, like political stuff or whatever, or religious stuff, or even just in your own personal life, remember to listen to your own heart and to trust your own intuition. Because yes, with that Knight of Cups starting it, yeah, there may be some sort of cause that you are really wanting to fight for. And it does pull out the heartstrings a little bit. But we have to ask ourselves, where is our guidance coming from? And if that guidance, is it really something that's going to benefit us? Or is it something that, you know, that person or that individual or that group of people or that entity is just using you for their own selfish gain? Straight the fuck up. Lavender. Connect to body, mind, and soul. Connect to body, mind, and soul. Probably a good day to just do some meditation. If at any point throughout the day, if it'll just if the energy just feels too much or it gets a little dramatic, take time to breathe and reset and to, like I said, connect back, connect those two, those three, the mind, the body and the soul. Connecting those things is definitely going to be very, very important. And even if you think of just lavender itself, lavender has a very calming kind of effect as well. So. If there's ever a moment where things you just kind of feel a little bit wound up, like I said, take a deep breath, kind of chill out, relax, maybe even get some lavender, kind of you know, or maybe get like some some tea that has like a little bit of lavender in it. That could be positive as well. Something to help kind of ground you because there's a lot of energy right now. There's a lot of electricity right now. There's going to be a lot of talking heads all throughout the week. Because it is Monday, and then that's where a lot of the new stuff just like really, really revs up. And of course, it's the Sun and Leo. And whenever you have a planet at the zero point of a sign, you get the pure aspect of it. So we're about to get the pure aspect, the pure blasting energy of Leo, with of course the Sun in opposition to Pluto. So yeah, we're about to see some crazy shit. Straight the fuck up. Yeah. So. <laughs> But, you know, we'll make it through this. Like I said, take the, your time today to, you know, chill, relax, take your moments, meditate, center yourself, and you'll make it through this. So, but at the very least, we're going to have a lot of great entertainment over the next four months. <laughs> That's going to do it for your daily tarot and astrology reading for this July 22nd of 2024. I trust this message will assist you on your journey today. If you found this message helpful at all, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel here. 
But y'all take care. Stay blessed. Have a wonderful Monday. And I will see you all on the next Daily Tarot and Astrology Reading. Peace.